As you grow older, your body undergoes various changes that can affect your energy needs. One important change is a decrease in your metabolism, which is the rate at which your body burns calories to produce energy. So this reduction in metabolism is mainly due to a decrease in muscle mass and a slower rate of cell turnover. Since muscles require more energy to function compared to fat, having less muscle can lead to lower calorie requirements. Additionally, your body's overall energy expenditure tends to decrease as you become less physically active over time. Because of these changes, it becomes crucial to adjust your eating habits to maintain a healthy lifestyle. If your physical activity levels decrease, it's recommended to consume smaller portion sizes. This helps prevent overeating and ensures that you're providing your body with the right amount of energy it actually needs. Moreover, sugary snacks like cakes and buns can contribute to weight gain and may have a negative impact on your overall health. As you age, your body becomes more sensitive to fluctuations in blood sugar levels, which can affect your risk of developing chronic conditions like diabetes and heart disease. By cutting down on sugary snacks, you can help stabilize your blood sugar levels and promote better overall health. Now coming to the video, getting the right vitamins and right amount of them is vital for a senior citizen. At this phase, one should be very careful about your health. We will guide you exactly how to boost your health with science-based facts. So today in this video, we will show you the five most important vitamins and minerals that you need as a senior citizen. Remember, this video is for education purposes only and not to replace your doctors and dietitians. 1. Calcium. Calcium is like a building block for our bones. It helps them stay strong and sturdy. When we eat foods with calcium, our bodies use it to make our bones tougher and less likely to break. As we grow older, our bones can become weaker, which can make them break more easily. That's why it's extra important for people who are 60 years old and older to get enough calcium in their diet. It's like giving your bones the tools they need to stay strong. Imagine your bones are like a construction site. Calcium is like the bricks that workers use to build a strong building. When you eat foods with calcium, your body takes those calcium pieces and uses them to repair and strengthen your bones. If you don't have enough calcium in your diet, it's like having not enough bricks for the workers. So, your body might take calcium from your bones, making them weaker over time. Foods that are good sources of calcium are like superhero foods for your bones. Some examples are milk, yogurt, and cheese. They have a lot of calcium. Green veggies like broccoli and spinach, they also have calcium. Fish with bones you can eat like canned salmon and sardines. Special foods like certain types of orange juice and cereals that have extra calcium added. For people who are 60 years old or older, it's a good idea to aim for about 1,200 milligrams of calcium every day. You can get calcium from food, and sometimes a doctor might suggest a calcium supplement if you need more. 2. Iron Iron is a critical part of a molecule called hemoglobin found in red blood cells. Hemoglobin is like a vehicle that carries oxygen from your lungs to all the different parts of your body. When you breathe, your lungs take in oxygen from the air. Hemoglobin binds to this oxygen and then travels through your bloodstream, releasing oxygen where it's needed. This oxygen is used by your cells to produce energy and perform various functions. As you age, having enough iron helps ensure that this oxygen transport system works effectively to support your body's energy needs. The body's ability to absorb iron can change as you get older. Some older individuals might experience decreased stomach acid production or changes in the digestive system that can affect iron absorption. This can lead to lower levels of iron in the body, which is why older adults might need to pay special attention to their iron intake. Including iron-rich foods in your diet becomes important to make sure your body has the necessary building blocks to produce healthy red blood cells and maintain oxygen transport. Also, anemia is a condition where your body doesn't have enough healthy red blood cells, often due to insufficient iron. Anemia can make you feel tired, weak, and less able to engage in everyday activities. It can also affect your immune system and overall well-being. 
As you age, preventing ania becomes crucial to maintain your energy levels, cognitive function, and overall health. Ensuring an adequate intake of iron-rich foods can help prevent anemia and its associated symptoms. Foods that have a lot of iron are like the best friends of your red blood cells. Some examples are red meat like beef and lamb, chicken and turkey. Fish, especially those like tuna and salmon, beans and lentils, spinach and other leafy greens. Fortified cereals with extra iron added. For individuals age 60 and older, the recommended dietary allowance for iron is 8 mg per day. 3. Vitamin D. Vitamin D is a unique nutrient that acts like a helper for maintaining strong bones. When sunlight touches your skin, it starts a process that produces vitamin D. This special vitamin is crucial for your body because it helps with absorbing calcium from the food you eat. Calcium is like the building material for your bones, and vitamin D ensures that your body can use this calcium effectively. As you age, this becomes even more important because your bones can become more fragile over time. Imagine your bones as a puzzle made of calcium pieces. Vitamin D acts as the glue that holds these pieces together. Without enough vitamin D, your bones might not be able to hold onto the calcium they need, and this can weaken your bones. Weakening bones can increase the risk of fractures in conditions like osteoporosis. So, having adequate vitamin D helps maintain the balance of calcium in your body, keeping your bones strong and sturdy. Vitamin D isn't just about bones. It also helps your muscles work smoothly. Inside your muscles, there are tiny parts that need calcium to contract and move. Vitamin D ensures that these parts can access the right amount of calcium, which in turn helps your muscles function properly. This is important for everyday activities like walking, lifting, and staying active. As you age, maintaining muscle function becomes essential for maintaining independence and overall well-being. Getting vitamin D isn't only about sunlight. Certain foods also contain it. Fish like salmon, mackerel, and sardines are good sources, as are fortified foods like milk and cereal. Egg yolks and cheese also provide a bit of vitamin D. For someone aged 60 and older, experts often recommend around 600 to 800 international units of vitamin D daily. However, individual needs can vary based on factors like skin color and sun exposure. 4. Folic Acid Folic acid is like a superhero that helps your body make new cells and keeps your brain and heart healthy. As you grow older, your body still needs to repair and make new cells. Folic acid is like a friend that provides the tools needed for this job. It also helps your heart and brain work well, which are important for staying sharp and active. Folic acid is part of a team that builds and repairs your DNA, which is like your body's instruction manual. DNA tells your cells what to do, so having good instructions is vital. Folic acid helps make sure these instructions are clear and accurate. It also helps your body produce red blood cells, which carry oxygen and nutrients to different parts of your body. A healthy heart and brain need oxygen and nutrients to function well, which is why folic acid matters, especially as you age. Foods with folic acid are like little builders for your cells. Some examples are leafy green vegetables like spinach and broccoli, beans and lentils, citrus fruits like oranges and grapefruits. Fortified cereals and bread these have extra folic acid added and avocado. For someone who's 60 years old or older, the recommended dosage of folic acid is about 400 micrograms per day. This is like the amount needed to give your body the support it needs for cell repair and keeping your brain and heart in good shape. 5. Vitamin C As you age, your immune system might not be as efficient as it used to be. This can make you more susceptible to infections and illnesses. Vitamin C plays a critical role in supporting your immune system, especially for older adults. It helps your immune cells function effectively, enhancing their ability to identify and fight off harmful pathogens like bacteria and viruses. Vitamin C also promotes the production of antibodies, which are essential for remembering past infections and providing protection against future ones. This is crucial for maintaining your body's defense mechanisms and overall health as you grow older. 
Chronic inflammation and oxidative stress are common issues that increase with age and contribute to various health problems. Vitamin C acts as an antioxidant, helping to counteract oxidative stress and reducing inflammation. Oxidative stress occurs when there's an imbalance between harmful molecules called free radicals and the body's ability to neutralize them. Vitamin C's antioxidant properties help neutralize these free radicals, preventing cellular damage and reducing the risk of chronic diseases associated with aging. Foods rich in vitamin C are like a treasure trove of health benefits. Sources of vitamin C are citrus fruits like oranges, grapefruits, and tangerines. Berries such as strawberries, blueberries, and raspberries. Colorful vegetables like bell peppers, broccoli, and spinach. Tomatoes and tomato-based products. For individuals aged 60 and older, the recommended daily dosage of vitamin C ranges from about 75 to 90 milligrams. Those were the five essential vitamins and minerals to slow down aging and boost longevity. Now, let's look at other factors that a 60-year-old plus should do. First and most important factor is what to drink or how to hydrate yourself at this phase of life. Your body requires a sufficient amount of fluids to function effectively which includes preventing issues like constipation or mental confusion. Strive to consume around six to eight glasses of water or other beverages daily to prevent dehydration. During warmer weather or periods of physical activity, your body may require even more fluids than this. As you age, your ability to sense thirst tends to decrease, making it possible to be dehydrated without feeling very thirsty. Watch out for these signs of dehydration. Your urine becomes darker and you don't urinate as much as usual. You experience headaches. You feel confused or irritable. You have trouble focusing and concentrating, cutting down on salt. As a general guideline, it's recommended to limit your daily salt intake to under 6 grams equivalent to about 2.4 grams of sodium. When purchasing processed foods, be sure to review the label details and opt for options with lower salt content. Consider using alternatives like pepper, herbs, and spices to enhance the taste of your preferred meals instead of relying on salt cutting down on sugar. Senior citizens should eat no more than 30 g of sugar per day, roughly equal to 7 sugar cubes, cutting down on smoking. Smoking is harmful at any age, but it's especially concerning for older adults. If you've smoked for many years, quitting can still have positive effects on your health. Smoking increases the risk of heart disease, lung problems, and various cancers. Quitting smoking can lead to improved lung function, reduced risk of diseases, and a better quality of life. Cutting down on alcohol. While many individuals find social enjoyment in consuming alcohol, excessive amounts of alcohol can contribute to a substantial intake of calories, potentially leading to weight gain. Moreover, alcohol consumption can hinder decision-making abilities, thereby elevating the likelihood of accidents like falls. As you age, your body typically carries less weight compared to younger adults, making the impact of alcohol more concentrated within the bloodstream. Additionally, you might require increased quantities of prescription or over-the-counter medications. It's crucial to ascertain whether the medication you are using could be influenced by alcohol consumption. Why exercise is important at 60-plus years old. Even as you get older, exercise remains crucial for your health and well-being. Here's why. 1. Maintaining independence. Regular exercise helps you stay strong and flexible, which is important for doing everyday tasks independently. 2. Bone health exercise. Especially weight-bearing activities helps keep bones strong and reduces the risk of fractures and osteoporosis. 3. Heart health. Physical activity keeps your heart strong, improves blood circulation, and helps lower the risk of heart disease and high blood pressure. 4. Balance and coordination. Many exercises focus on balance and coordination, reducing the risk of falls and injuries. 5. Mood boost exercise releases feel-good chemicals in the brain, helping to reduce stress, anxiety, and depression. 6. Social interaction. Participating in group activities or classes can provide social interaction, reducing feelings of loneliness.
7. Brain Health Exercise has been shown to support cognitive function and may reduce the risk of cognitive decline. What are physical activities for 60-plus-year-old? Walking. Walking is a great way to stay active. It's gentle on the joints and helps improve cardiovascular health. You can take leisurely walks around your neighborhood, in parks, or even on treadmills. Swimming? Swimming is a low-impact exercise that's easy on the joints. It works many muscles and provides a full-body workout. Plus, being in the water can feel refreshing. Yoga. Yoga helps improve flexibility, balance, and strength. It also encourages relaxation and can be tailored to your fitness level. Gentle yoga classes or videos can be a wonderful option. Tai Chi. Tai Chi is a slow, graceful exercise that focuses on balance, coordination, and relaxation. It can help with flexibility and reducing the risk of falls. Strength training using light weights, resistance bands, or bodyweight exercises can help maintain muscle strength. This is important for daily activities like lifting and moving. Cycling. Cycling, whether on a stationary bike or a regular bike, is a low-impact activity that improves cardiovascular fitness and leg strength. Dancing ye dancing is not only enjoyable but also beneficial for cardiovascular health, balance, and coordination. Joining a dance class or dancing at home is a fun way to stay active.